Good afternoon, YouTube. So today's video is gonna be a short one about um, a customer that um, had me haul some landscaping material for him. Um, normally this customer um, I do concrete hauling for, but uh, this time they had kind of a different demo um, set up at this customer's house for them. So, um, and they didn't have a trailer available from their own equipment. So um, <clears throat> the, the video that you'll see, uh, part of it, it starts early, early in the morning, so it's dark. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, getting there uh, and what we're doing. And then um, the second part is actually at the landfill and talking about the uh, important stuff about hauling landscape material, which is the weight. So um, you'll see my scale ticket. Um, you'll see the actual material um, that we're taking in. Um, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Good morning guys, so it is 5.23 in the morning. I just picked up, I know it's dark, sorry. I know uh, you probably can't see much, but I'll make this part of the video short. Um, just picked up the first uh, load of the day. So um, this day's video, uh, like I said in the intro, will be about this um, load for uh, landscaping material and um, you know helping uh, you guys try and price that stuff out right by showing you how much this kind of stuff weighs. So um, I don't haul a, too, a whole lot of landscaping material. I mean, I've done it before, um, but as far as like dirt and rock and stuff, um, you know, that stuff always weighs a lot more than you think it will. So um, a little bit about this customer, um, they are actually a, a concrete contractor. Um, and what they'll do is to keep their business supplemented, um, especially, you know, during the winter, they will do uh, flat work. Um, so like they'll, you know, they'll demo and replace people's um, sidewalks. Gosh, dang, you can't even hardly see me, sorry. Um, They'll demo people's sidewalks, driveways, patios, stuff like that. Um, you know, just to keep guys working and um, keep some revenue coming in. So anyway, I haul for them every once in a while when they don't have enough of their own trailers to keep up. Um, and today, uh, actually yesterday, uh, they scheduled me real quick for um, this house uh, where they were pulling out a bunch of landscaping uh, material and um, you know, old um, train uh, railroad ties, um, stuff like that to, I'm assuming, pour concrete wherever they pulled that stuff out. <coughs> so, excuse me. Um, so anyway, there's dirt. In this load, there's dirt, rock, um, big heavy lumber, uh, and like some tree branches and just some random stuff in there. But um, it feels pretty heavy. Um, I filled my airbags up to about 65. Um, so, but it's not, I, I'm definitely hauled heavier for, especially for those guys doing concrete loads. Obviously that concrete gets, gets way heavy. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut this off here cause you can't see anything anyway. Um, and I'll check back in later at the scales. All right guys, welcome back. Um, so I just went across the scales here. Uh, at the landfill and we're bringing across 3.45 tons I'll show you the ticket here so you can see right there 3.45 so um, <clears throat> what does that mean um, you know this video is for landscaping purposes hauling landscape uh, materials dirt rock trees shrubs, um, you know, railroad ties, stuff like that, stuff that's going to weigh quite a bit, um, especially the dirt in the rock. That's going to, um, you know, it can compact down and some, you can get a lot of material in a small area and it'll weigh um, quite a bit. So, um, for instance, this load, um, I charge $65 per ton over the limit. So on these 15 yard units like this, I have a two ton limit, which is pretty standard. And 
um, you know, they're 1.45 over. So I'll prorate that for a ton and basically a ton and a half. I'll prorate that over um, to cover that cost, extra cost of coming across the scales there to bring it in here to the landfill. So um, roughly for my, um, on this customer, again, it was a, a commercial a contractor that does concrete. Um, they rented it for a day. Um, it was kind of a quick, hey, can you get one here today, you know, real quick? I said, sure. Um, and uh, my one day fee is $250. Um, if it's, if it's a, within 25 miles, um, I don't charge a trip fee. Um, you typically, for them, it's concrete, so I'll charge $350 minimum. Um, and then a trip fee on top of that if I need to uh, for mileage. So uh, 250 uh, plus 65 for the ton. And then, you know, basically, you know, 3250 uh, for the half. So it's basically going to come out to roughly in my head, right about just under 350. So about 340, something like that. Um, I'm terrible at doing math in my head, but anyway, uh, it would basically come out to almost the same as had this been a concrete load. Um, and the reason for that is the reason for the pricing difference, uh, because the material is different, um, here at this landfill, you don't go across the scales to, uh, take a concrete load because it goes to a different area. It actually goes to a different company, uh, called Asphalt Specialties that recycles the concrete and they charge you basically, as long as there's not a whole lot of rebar or a wire mesh in the concrete, they charge you a flat 60, $65 rate to dump um, here. There are free places, but they're so far away. And, you know, honestly, just the mileage and ha hauling heavy concrete around to get a free, you know, free unload is sometimes not worth it. So anyway, um, you know, the fixed cost of, co of hauling concrete, or sometimes it can be free, um, you know, you have to weigh that against the wear and tear, um, and the time it takes to haul that concrete. So that's why I charge more for it, especially the wear and tear on the trailer, the truck, um, and all that. So, um, because there is no concrete in this load, which normally there is from this customer, it's landscaping material. That's why I charged, you know, my normal, uh, rate for them, you know, plus overage. So, um, if you guys are looking to get into this and get some customers calling about hauling some landscape uh, material, um, you know, check, uh, you know, check your, um, check your rates with your landfills and, um, I'll catch you guys here in a second and we'll get some footage of us unloading this, a uh, little bit heavier load. All right, back here at the landfill. So, um, I'm just going to kind of set you guys up here and then I'll take you back when we drop this uh, material and show you kind of what's in there. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference on this one of, you know, the tonnage in here and how, how differently uh, this trailer and the hydraulic system acts um, with a heavier load, but it'll get it up there. This is the raw max. Um, hey, also raw max, if you're watching this, my, I haven't owned this trailer a year yet, and I take good care of it, but my piston is broken. This thing, it doesn't hold anymore. So I'll, I'll call the dealership, but send me a new one. The thing that sucks about this 
being broken is that you know you could if this thing comes down you chop your controller wire that would suck now you can hear that hydraulic motor struggling a little bit uh, a, it's a little bit colder. B, you know, it's three and a half tons. Um, and C, this is the raw max, so the six inch um, ram, you know, requires more fluid, so it's slower anyway. But, I mean, you can hear that thing is struggling. But the battery's not, you know, up to its full peak, so. I'll take you around back once the um, once the stuff falls out. Tons and tons of roofing. Pull you guys off. Please. Look at all the roofing. I mean, every, every pile behind me is all roofing. Um, I got a call the other day from a roofer um, to get one of my units over there. Uh, I was, um, I had a full schedule so I couldn't accommodate them, but um, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not itching to get a roofing job. That stuff is so heavy and those crews tear up those trailers. Um, you know, it's just kind of the nature of that business. They're trying to, they're trying to work so fast. I'm not really anxious to have them working around mine. Okay, she's leaning back. So got like a remember don't ever stand too close to your load if something shifts that could hurt you um, so a bunch of railroad ties um, at the bottom down here sorry for the sun flare rock and dirt um, an old ladder um, this tub trough kind of thing you know a little bit of trash dog bed kind of some random stuff but yeah it was a little bit heavier load um one of the heaviest loads i've hauled that's not concrete um in one of these trailers so um let's get in and pull up and drop this stuff You gotta be careful here. If you look out here, straight drop off. We are, this pile that we've been, you know, dumping here at the landfill, this pile behind me just creeps closer and closer, and, or this way, closer and closer and closer to this edge. So there's not, not a whole lot of room to operate. Go back and check that we're clear. Uh, so they did have a couple little buckets of dried concrete. I'm not upset about that, that's fine. Um, but we're clear, load's good. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll talk to you guys here in a second.